You know, it's the show that beat Monday Night Raw for 83 consecutive weeks as we welcome you to Monday Nitro. Tonight will truly be the greatest night in the history of our sport. expect to see from these two teams here tonight Michael I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition that's how good these teams are Sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. And Byron, to say that these superstars don't like each other would be a bit of an understatement, am I right? I don't think you've ever been more right, Michael. To put it bluntly, these guys absolutely loathe each other. And guys, we're ready to get this match started. He's been the heart and soul of NXT and an only complainer on SmackDown Live. Which Sami Zayn showed up here tonight? It doesn't matter, Saxton. Whatever his mindset, Sami Zayn is still one of WWE's finest competitors. Curtis Axel making a move. Sami Zayn making a move. Oh, what a forearm. Elbow smash! Now we have Sami Zayn on the attack. Knife edge chuck. Work is being put in by Curtis Axel. <laughs> Downward spiral. See ya. Curtis Axel. Feeling some pressure here. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Elbow drop. Piercing. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. Oh, that hurt to the chest. Boom! <laughs> Tagged in. Neck breaker. That could be it. Root has really thrived on the main roster, guys, but perhaps his most glorious moment came in January of 2018 when he defeated Jinder Mahal in the finals of the tournament to crown a new United States champion. And what a reversal there for Bo Dallas. Oh, no. Oh, and then it's Groove with the offense. Ooh, bullseye. Head crank. Oh, man, right across. 
across the chest. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. The inspirational always inspires. Whoa, Brood able to avoid damage. Nice. He's looking a little dazed, guys. And he's got nowhere to go in that corner. Bo Dallas caught a little off guard there. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. As Michael mentioned, Brood defeated Jinder Mahal in the grueling finals of the United States Championship Tournament. And truth be told, his road to the finals wasn't so easy either. Huh, one of those rare moments, you're right, Zaxton. In fact, a lot of people probably predicted that Rude would have faltered against Baron Corbin or Mojo Rawley in the earlier rounds. Great evasion. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Almost just a little bit further. Come on now. Almost there. Don't give up now. And he gets to his partner. We've got a house of fire now. Two. Three. Back in from the floor. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Check out Brood's offense. Brood with a perfectly placed punch. Oh, not perfect. It was glorious. Glorious strain moves from Rude. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. Oh, stomping away. It won't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. Power slam. It might only be Hart keeping Curtis Axel in this match. He's in a bad spot. They got it. to sweat this one is over no wonder these guys won they work together like they've been teaming up since birth and i can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match wow team in all of WWE right now than Dawson and Wilder. Great tag teams are on the same page. These two are in the same syllable. Like you and I, Corey. What about me? What about you? Atmosphere inside this arena for this one is absolutely insane, guys. And if you think this is insane, just wait until this thing kicks into high gear. You ain't seen nothing yet.
Okay, guys, we're ready to get this one underway. Scott Dawson says he is an innovator in the ring while still being old school. Well, taking lessons from some of the greats like the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Scott Dawson prides himself on being a ring general. No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. Oh, wow. Stomping. Ouch. Scott Dawson is a force within the ring. Oh, man. Young gets out of the way there quickly. Now it's Young on the offensive. In off the tag. Double axe handle smash. Is he gonna do it? Oh, shoulder breaker! Ooh, man! Double axe handle. Now look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Ooh, what impact. Ooh, ruthless striking. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. And off the tag is Dash Wilder. He might have been waiting on that one. Wilder on some offense now. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tap. And close to the ropes. Nice. Escapes in a nick of time. Boom! What a forearm. Wicked body shot. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. In off the tag. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Really needs to get to the corner. And that can't be enough, can it? And Dash Wilder kicks out. Very nice. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut. Young on the offensive. Oh, boy, he unloaded there. Yeah. In the face. Now watch this. Beautiful Northern Lights suplex. The beginning of the end. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. Dash Wilder is looking very critical right now. Things have really gone from bad to worse for him here, guys. He's going to need to make a tag sooner rather than later. Wilder usually has help, but he's going to have to find a way out alone now. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. The tag is vital at this point in the match. Good job. Death Valley driver. Uncork the bit. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. And finds a counter. Clutch. 
Someone's getting humbled. He's, and the rope forces the break. You know, I really thought he was smarter than to apply a submission so close to the ropes. But I guess not. It's all chaos all the time for Young. Just an onrush of offense here. This is some great offense by Eric Young. Targeting the stomach. Really just laying it in. Scooped up. To the Valley Driver. Worked a big punch. Here we go again. Down with a power bomb. Meet him at the pay window. Eric Young better not change game plan for sure. But hey, maybe he has something even bigger and better planned. Brought in the hard way. Scott Dawson looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can he get out of this mess? This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. Look at that power, Byron. Man, that is just careless. This could do it. And Eric Young, Sanity! Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. Tag teams beware, these two guys are legit. The arena is still buzzing over that great match. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Asuka. Her dominance her unique appearance and her unmistakable aura have all made Asuka one of the top competitors in the entire women's division. Get out from under the table, Saxton. Sorry, natural reaction. And from Glasgow, Scotland, one half of the Nikki Cross. Unorthodox, unpredictable. Unhinged, unstable. Look, I'm not afraid of the dark, but I am definitely afraid of Nikki Cross, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Yeah, I'll agree with you there, Byron. She is a, a bit nuts. A bit? Ooh. She's good, though. Screaming like a banshee. Byron, when's the last time Nikki Cross washed her hair, you think? Um, I'd rather not find out.
gentlemen, there's the bell. It's put up or shut up time now. Let's see if anyone's ready for Asuka tonight. If Asuka's on her A game, I think we know the answer to that question. And on the other hand, there's Nikki Cross. Maniac turned WWE superstar. Ah, uh, Corey, I don't agree with that assessment. What I will tell you is that she's a skilled veteran who can get the job done in the ring. Well, the two aren't mutually exclusive, Saxton. I mean, Nikki's got the in-ring talent, but she's also potentially rabid. So good luck to anyone that faces her. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's gonna have to shift it into another gear. Oof. Elbow smash! When you're in the ring with Asuka, you can't let her intimidate you. You have to go in there with complete confidence. Otherwise, she's already beaten you. Yeah, it's easier said than done, though, Corey. On more than one occasion, the competition thought they had Asuka's number, and each time, they ended up paying for that line of thinking. Yeah, but it's been proven that Asuka isn't as unbeatable as once thought. The first step is confidence, even though it's still an uphill battle. your legs numb ah oh, she's not looking good here the first thing she needs to do is somehow get out of that corner got uh -oh. the oh my goodness crushing it it says her a plot raining down elbows Lights out. Asuka is trying to get in her opponent's head. She's showing signs of slowing now. She's not rising to the occasion right now. Oh! Missile drop kick! Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Devastating kick. Got uh -oh. the all. Is crushing it. Oscar with a kick to the midsection. Head of steam. Always does her Japanese ancestors proud. Now this one's all but over. It's locked in. Cross face chicken wing is in. And Nikki Cross, hold on. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. Uh-oh. And a suplex. And Asuka was able to get out of the way there. Asuka has the crowd eating out of the palm of her hand, but she's got to get refocused here. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Clubbing blow to the back. Inverted suplex. And for the first time tonight, Asuka heads for the top rope. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Shoulders down. This one's over, folks. Asuka picks up the win. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by our truth representing the Prime Time Players from Pineville, West Virginia, weighing in at 216 pounds, one half of the Heath Slater. Corey, a win tonight could do wonders for Heath Slater. Yeah, and it would also help pay for that above-ground pool he just installed. Those things aren't cheap, Cole. Hey, Corey, what do you think the champ's game plan is for this one? He's going to be looking to end this one as fast as he can, Cole. The longer this match goes, the more chance of injury. And the last thing he wants to do is relinquish his championship due to an injury he sustained in a non-title match. Presenting the Street Profits from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 228 pounds, Jay Uso. Jay Uso looks ready to go tonight, guys. Well, he better be because he's definitely going to have his hands full in this one. Well, he definitely looks fired up for this one, wouldn't you say, Corey? Yeah, he's definitely ready to get this one underway, Cole. He's not the only one. Would you listen to this crowd? Wow. Times opposing team members, battles will break off into singles action. Jay Uso's had a number of intense confrontations with the one man band Heath Slater, and well, who knows what other confrontations will have in the future. Jay Uso and Heath Slater have a history that dates back many years here in WWE. They clashed in singles contests before, but the rivalry was renewed when both superstars' respective tag teams were striving to become SmackDown Live tag team champions. Anyone who's watched WWE knows that Jey Uso and Heath Slater are never going to be exchanging holiday pleasantries or birthday cards. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I just hope Jey Uso has the opportunity to save our ears from Heath Slater for good. Heath Slater making a move. Jey Uso going for it. And now it's Jey Uso. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Jey Uso going for it. Tough spot to be in. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Oh, tear the features clean off your face. Right on point. Jumping elbow drop. Ooh. I don't think this is the ideal time for Jey Uso to be hamming it up like this. Jey Uso with a great offensive show. Heath Slater Ooh. forced to play defense here. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. DDT! Uh-oh, soul kick! A great decision by Jey Uso to capitalize there. Uppercut, nasty.
Back now inside the ring. What have we got here? Samoan driver. goes up high. Top rope. Uso splash. Slater's going to be singing a little off key after that. Jay Uso for the win. Superstar goes down courtesy of Jay Uso and the Uso Penitentiary. All right, I bet I could sell you for honey buns in the Uso Penitentiary. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.